Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I'm Tero from Lean Entries. Delighted to be here. We're making a uh, software for, uh, so we work with, within medical devices. We're working with this for a bunch of time already. And uh, we face the same problems everybody else does, generally speaking. So sales could be better, marketing could be more you know, efficient, distribution channels. But along with, let's say, there's aviation, nuclear energy, and then there's medical devices are among the three most heavily regulated fields of business, really. And the regulatory compliance burden is just getting heavier and heavier every year. We're, for instance, I mean, next year we're getting a new directive again. That's just make us more burdensome. And we just find that this is not the way to run things. I mean, they're, 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 for a, they're in place for a purpose, right? They're, we're talking about health. We're talking about people's lives here in general. But um, we want to make anything to do with regulatory issues, the learning curve, much, much steeper. So instead of using months to immerse yourself in the very, you know, very, the very interesting field of medical regulations, instead of using months, we can do it in hours. So going from months to hours, basically taking this very complex field with the directives, uh, the cross-references, the causalities, and put everything in, into a runway. We tried to do this in-house first, you know, put in a spreadsheet, put it in a form, whatever, we checked out all the competition, and just wouldn't cut it. It weren't up to the task. So we had to build our own logics engine to get a runway going, uh, but it's not just about clarity and speed. It's also about educating. It's all about learning. So the next time these people, you know, they're, they're usually engineers or doctors, they gotta, it's very repetitive. So that's a, they got to come back to these very repetitive, complex tasks over and over again. It's very burdensome. We want to take it into a nicer place to be. And so far, we got an MVP going. We got paying customers going nicely. Uh, we got a roadmap going on how we can advance this further on. But the funny thing happened. I was talking to a bunch of my friends who are lawyers and bankers, and I know my parents are not happy about the people I hang out with, but anyway, uh, they came to me and said, well, you know what, we got a bunch of complex processes here as well in our industry, so who knew? So we're now in talks with a bunch of people from insurance, from banking, from finance, and medicine, not medical devices, but medicine, you know, complication management, disease management, that kind of thing, and we're looking forward to building MVPs for those as well, and we're gonna get there eventually, and I'm still young and pretty, but you know, we'd rather get there faster than, than slower, so, and it's just such an interesting field. I mean, the $5 billion market that we got in the medical device consulting is, it's a nice business, right? But this is simply an opportunity we just can't simply go ahead. So we're looking for 200K to get the ball rolling, to get MVPs for the other fields as well. We got our, our founder team. We're very excited to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the energy. All right. Do we have any questions? That was so fast. I'm uh, not here wasting your time, sir. Uh, how many potential customers are there and how often would they actually need to use your product if they become a customer? Excellent questions. For the small startups, it's just a single time only. But then we got, we got the lobbyist groups who would need this for all their customers. And then we got the big, big medical device companies, uh, approximately 20,000 companies in the world who are seeing a real need uh, for this basically every day in their lives. Anytime there's a new medical device coming out into the field, they need to go through this process. Very burdensome one. Expensive at that. So how do you see yourself fit within the existing regulatory compliance departments already in your customers? We're partners with them. So the consultancy business, that's one of the things that, so you're going to put the consultants out of business? No, we're simply saving their time. That's what the lawyer, that's what the law companies are saying. So actually this means we don't have to put the junior lawyers working on these very repetitive tasks that will surely, it's going to get them into, the, you know, that repetitive task into their heads, but we got that covered as well. So it's a learning platform as well on the side, but they won't have to, you know, use that, that time, those junior lawyers' time up to that, so we, they can do more productive stuff. So less billable hours to all of us, right? Any more questions? Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. And let's move on. 